You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. You can tour Topeka on two feet with the Top City Half Marathon. You have plenty of time to get ready. Race director Mark Price is here to run down the race and show off some of the bling you will find as well. Mark, welcome to you. Welcome. And this really is something that starts to get you motivated for spring because this time of year we've been talking off camera that it's sometimes just so hard to get motivated and then it's so cold and then it's icy out. Top City Half Marathon, what do you all have to offer? Well, uh, so it's the now premier only 5K or not 5K and half marathon in Topeka. Um, we start at the Evergy Plaza, run through the Capitol, go out over into Collins Park, um, Westboro area, and then come back and finish back at the Plaza. Have a great post party at the Plaza with um, Iron Rail as a sponsor there. They bring us some beer. They do a last two years, they'll, they've done a special brew only exclusively for the half marathon that's, that's um, free to all participants. Then we have some other goodies there. What year is this for the event? This is actually the fifth year. The fifth year. So yeah, you kind of started it and then this thing called a pandemic hit. <laughs> and I remember I remember that year people were posting pictures of going around town on their own along the route anyway, just so that they could still get the run in and say they did it. How gratifying has it been to see it survive that and then grow to the point it is today? Yeah, it's been great to see everyone who has had such enthusiasm for it. We've had great sponsors throughout the years in Topeka. Um, you know, we've had Heartland Title be a sponsor from year one. They've stuck with us. They've helped us put this on. Um, uh, other Blue Cross Blue Shield signed on this year. And, and the great thing is we've got these sponsors coming out. We've got people coming to Topeka and just seeing what I love about Topeka and what everyone loves about Topeka, the great neighborhoods, the downtown we have and everything this makes it great. Oh, and oh, they're heavy. You're ready to debut these, so yes. I am going to show them off a little bit. These are your race medals, correct? Yes. So who, how did you design these and, and what really makes them unique that makes people want to earn one of these? So the um, 5K one, which is the blue one, which is the Topeka flag, it's actually a throwback to the half marathon medal we had um, our first year. So we've updated that for the 5K. And th this is the first year our 5K runners are actually getting a medal medal. Before we've had acrylics or other smaller, not quite as fancy medals, just trying to get started. The the half one is a took inspiration from a race I did in Louisville, Kentucky, it, with the course map highlighted and the map of Topeka. I thought it was just really neat and unique. Um, always enjoyed that medal, and so I wanted to bring it to people who came and ran Topeka, the top city. We made that. This will be our biggest medal ever. It's a four inch medal, and it's very for everyone who does the five k or half, they get a medal. <laughs> There you go. I love it. And, and it is cool. It is cool to see the different varieties for runners out there. It's really cool to get a, a unique medal, right? This is one of the things that you love to take home with you. The route that you have traced on here, what kind of tour of Topeka does it give you? So you start start downtown at mm -hmm. Evergy Plaza, go over under the Capitol, one of the um, breezeways there. Then you head over to Brown v. Board. From Brown v. Board, you get on um, Landon Trail, run over, you get off, get off the trail at about the VA on Randolph, mm -hmm. take Randolph into Westwood through Westboro, kind of do a loop around Westboro Park, Collins Park, and then you come back and finish up at downtown. Always fun. Well, some year I will get back in shape enough to get one of these, but maybe I'll earn a 5K medal this year, Mark, because it is a very cool event. It's a way to really kick off your spring, kick off the spring summer running season. You can register right now. 7.30 a.m. April 27th is race day, race time. Evergy Plaza is where you start. Register before February 29th to get a discounted entry rate. It goes up after that. TopCityRun.com or I'm sorry, yeah, topcity.run. <laughs> sorry about that, is where you go to register. I'll get that link on WIBW.com as well. Mark, thank you so very much. And thank you. We'll see you out there on the trails. Yeah. And thank you for being with us today for Eye on Northeast Kansas. Stay tuned, Investigate TV Plus is coming up next. We are back in a half hour with Live at 5 and tomorrow at 4.